A feature we use frequently in a data source view is a named calculation. A named calculation is pretty much the same thing as a calculated column in a relational database. It's simply a derived column normally using some calculation of the other columns in a table. To see how the named calculations work, let's refer back to a named query that we have for the store manager. And this named query concatenates the first name and the last name and puts a space in the middle. So let's do that exact same operation against an employee table that's a table that's under DSV. The first thing I'll do is add that employee table. That's actually the underlying source for our named query too. So I'm just going to add that. I won't bother connecting it to anything because I just want to look at how to add the name calculation. So this table does have the same fields, first name, last name. I'm going to make a new column that's not real, but just a named calculation. I'm going to call this full name. And the expression will be first name plus a space plus last name. The expression syntax you use here is really going to be passed through to your underlying data source. So if you're using SQL Server, then use functions and expressions the same way that you would in a T-SQL query. Once your expression is typed in, just click OK. And at the bottom, we'll see there's a new column on this table, and it has a little calculator button next to it to indicate that it's not really in the table. It's a calculation on top of that. Now, I haven't changed anything about this table. I've just added this one little aspect. When I explore the data, and then scroll to the right, I can see I have my name calculation is there. So this is just another kind of abstraction tool that you can use if you need a little bit more on the end of a table and you don't want to add it to the physical underlying data source, you can use the DSV and add a named calculation to the end of a table whenever you need to. In a nutshell, that is named calculations. Fairly straightforward. These can be applied to physical tables that are added to the DSV. So those, those do need to be tables or views in the underlying data source. You cannot add a named calculation to a named query. Of course, if you want to add a named calculation, just put it in the query. So it's, it would be a little redundant. When the query is run against the data source, if you trace the database, you would see that something very similar to what's happening with the named query is, is actually happening. So the DSV is going to take your named calculation and kind of append it to the select list and pass that through to the database.